welcome back to the seventh house art studio uh it's 95 degrees outside so i have my sound machine on with the rain sound and today i'm going to do something i haven't done for a very long time i'm going to do an acrylic pour so the colors are metallic gold white black and yeah, I haven't decided if I'm going to put gray in there yet or not. But we're going to be mixing with water and Floetrol. So let's hope I remember how to do this. It's going to be a... I don't think I'm going to blow it out. To me all that looks the same. So I think I'm going to do a dirty pour. So what you do, <clears throat> get the dried up paint off the bottle first. <clears throat> Excuse me, allergies are high. So we pour a little bit. Oh, maybe a little bit more. It's a small canvas. I think it's a 14 by 11. Okay. Pour a little bit of white. Now with black paint, you want to be very with it because it is very powerful probably shaking the table and do I want to put gray in there or not okay let's put some gray in there just a little okay so then you pour a little bit of water and you can always, if you make it too thin, you can always add more paint. <clears throat> Which I think I made the black too thin. And the gray. Kind of got a little happy with that water. So we're going to put a little bit. Actually, I'm going to add some iridescent medium to thicken it up. Instead of more paint. Oh, excuse me. All right, so we're going to stir this up. <clears throat> which I do need more gold. I made that too thin as well. Like I said, it's been a while. I've been making other types of paintings. If you're interested in that, look through my catalog. There are a lot of other paintings there. Some are just pictures of the finished product or videos, and some are the whole thing. So here is with the iridescent medium in it. the gray with the too much water and iridescent medium in it. That's still pretty thin. I think we want to add a little bit more gray paint. I don't have to use everything that I mix up on one painting. We just need the right consistency. Which is still too thin. And sometimes, well, any paint that I don't use up here, and I don't plan on using again, I pour into one of these condiment bottles. And it always turns out, no matter what you put in here, it turns out to be like a greenish gray. Put pink and purple in there, and it would still be greenish gray. Okay, so your consistency, I don't know if you can be able to see with this black, is it drips, but not like water, but it still drips on its own. I still haven't, I haven't even added the Floetrol yet. Okay, <clears throat> so you see that? 
So I add just a little bit of Floetrol. This helps create cells. Sorry, I'm moving the table, I'm sure. I'm going to put it on the floor. Come on now. So this is a big, heavy bottle. Okay, there we go. This is a big, heavy bottle. You can get it at Lowe's. When I got it, it was like $15. Who knows what it is now? Um, the biggest thing I use this bottle for is a doorstop. I have three cats, and they love to run up the stairs and bust through my bedroom door. I try to leave it open so they can come and go during the night. And sometimes, you know how cats are, they get all squirrely in the middle of the night. I used to scare the crap out of me. They would run up the stairs, bust through the door, and it would slam open and hit the wall. Give me a little mini heart attack. So I just put a dab in there. I'm going to mix it up really good. Consistency, consistency is still good. And I did repurpose an old canvas. I painted it white first, which reminds me I need to make more white. Oh, maybe not. All right. Make sure you wear old clothes you don't care about when doing this. Okay, I don't want a whole lot of black and white. So then you take an empty cup. you start adding layering the paint into the empty cup and a lot of artists will keep the same um, the same flow of what they pour in like white gold gray black sometimes I mix it up towards the end I don't do the same pattern. Oh, I almost dropped that. I don't think I'm keeping the same pattern anyway. <clears throat> and you want to put something on your table where you can just pick it up and it doesn't ruin your table which I forgot to put down my paper I said it's been a while since I've done this and I've forgotten all the steps but I think I'm remembering the basics and the necessities So we're going to let that drain out there. I'm going to let that drain out there. <clears throat> so that's what it looks like. And it's just you've layered the paint in there. And ideally, you kind of want to keep it a little bit tilted. <clears throat> okay. Last drain out there. All right. Now you can do this all kinds of different ways. I'm going to get the cat hair off first. There we go. A lot of gold coming out. Looks like it's going to be mostly gold. 
I know, you think that and then it changes up on you. Now for shits and giggles, let's put a little bit of black through it. See what that does. It's all about having some fun. It doesn't have to be a masterpiece. It's relaxing. I'm not going to have a lot of leftover paint, so that's good. I'm not one that likes a lot of leftover paint. So try not to mix up too much. But then it's even worse if you don't have enough. There we go. <clears throat> Now you can, what they call wrecking, wrecking it, you can swirl it around, that's called wrecking it. Look, cells are already forming. Alright, so now we want to tilt it. So it kind of looks neat like that. But let's just start tilting it a little bit to cover the canvas. And a lot of gold and gray. That's okay. Can't believe I forgot to put the paper down. So if you try this, or you have tried it, let me know how you like it. And if you find it relaxing, fun, <clears throat> stressful, whatever the case may be, and if you haven't tried it, <coughs> excuse me, try it. See if you like it. Now you can look at other videos in my catalog, and there will be where you use the hair dryer and it blows it out. Kind of got tired of doing those because to me they all started looking the same. I'm <coughs> losing my voice. They all started looking the same. You know what, though? You know, it might be a good idea. Oh, my feet are sticking to my tarp. This is so hot. Okay, where's my hair dryer? I switched everything around. There it is. It's just, um, let's see if I got another outlet available. Unplug the rain. Let's just for fun mix it up. It's not moving. Oh no, it's not moving. Moving my cups around. Well, that didn't work out. Didn't even move them around, and there's another cat here. Alright, so we're going to keep on. You might have to like really help it along. <clears throat> this is a case where there wasn't really enough paint. So let's see what we can do about that. Kind of like swirl it around. Get your hands in there. Make sure your sides are covered, even though I did paint them white. Phew, I don't really want to. It's a good idea just to make sure they're covered. I use my hands a lot. Oh, yeah, there you go. Okay. 
trying to get a good coverage of the canvas. Yep, it's been a while since I've done this, and you can tell. All right, let's try to, let's do some gravity work here. Oh, it's just not moving. Okay, it's going to have to get out of shot here. There we go, starting to move a little bit. Hop it along this way. Probably fast forward through this, huh? Okay. There's no really uh, rules of doing this. I want to at this time uh, bring up, you know, like, share, subscribe, help my channel grow. It's really appreciated. All right, <clears throat> I'm kind of happy with that. What is going on here? I need to get some more paint here. Let me rinse my hands and I'll be right back. Okay, so let me get my torch. We well, need to have that ready. Oh yeah, it's been a while. Okay, so next thing you want to do is a um, little butane torch here. You can pick these up at Walmart. Hopefully it's got some stuff in it. And this is going to help Get you some cells. All right, it's stuck. There we go. So you just go over. You don't want to keep it in one spot too long. It'll catch on fire. So this will also pop any air bubbles because you don't want the air bubbles to pop on their own. It'll leave dents, and you'll see the canvas through it. it just doesn't look very good. So like I said, this will create more cells, more interest to, uh, to your painting. So it's the middle of June 2022, 95 degrees all week long. starting to smell it. it's time to stop so now we're gonna I want to see how little little spot there that was a couple of spots here that's uh, canvas is poking through so we don't want that so I've got my gold back out I'm just scraping the bottom of it And then the last thing you want to do is scrape all the drips off the edges. And that's just to make it look better. Mm. 
we might have to go back and do it again because more will well, that wasn't my gold cup that was my dirty pour cup just add some little pops of gold to this doesn't hurt <clears throat> if you have a really tiny canvas and you want to try ooh, try using the hair dryer sometimes I've used a straw instead because it's just too big the hair dryer is actually you know what <clears throat> I kind of like this little pops of gold. <clears throat> I kind of like to have my voice back. What the heck? There's a little pokey hole. All right. All in all, I think it turned out pretty good. Just want to add a little bit more gold here. goodness <clears throat> and a couple of times you know you sometimes you see something in in the painting and if you don't really like the pour so much you can like make a actual painting out of it like a, an image just have to embellish it a little bit with some more paint <clears throat> I think it looks pretty good since I haven't done one in so long. Let's see if I can manage turning on the flash. Where is it? Oh my goodness, where's the flash? Alright, I can't find the flash. So here you go. Kind of looks like marble a little bit, especially right in that spot right there. You can also, I did this to a couple of um, little TV tray stands, this uh, process, and it turned out really good. <clears throat> I think I have a video on here of that. So there you go. Hope you like it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, tell me, um, if you've done this or if you're going to try it and what your thoughts are thanks for joining me and come back